I just shoveled the driveway. I wouldn't be doing that if we were in Puerto Rico. <laughs> it's a little wet. So I'm pulling the truck out so I can pick up my pops and real babes with them not having to step in some wet snow. Oh, get my skinny ass in here. You want to put your belt or your uh, person back? Uh, we get bigger, but no, she's over there. I should put mine on. Yeah, he's bitch. It is running. Steve, you still have. Wow. Yeah, kind of thick. cool. Yeah. yeah, they can, that's as far as they can reach up on the cedar. And that's why it looks like a spear like point. It. it must be tasty because they eat it. Yeah. So they keep it all cleaned up. There's a bunch of deer in the cemetery. Yeah. Looks like all does. They're like, who is? <laughs> Yearling over there. There's a couple up here. Off. They're so big compared to white tails. That's a lot of elk. Well, they're, it raised, is. they're raised, they're domestically raised. They're raising them like beef cow. Right. Oh. Here's some white elk. There's a lot of the white ones. And then these look like Axis or Sitka deer. On the other side to the left. Man, I bet they're Most of the snow melted off, but you can see it's still snowing on us right now light we're getting light snow but it's still snowing i'm gonna pull over so real babes can video the train you want to jump out no just put the window down I think you should be oh it's to... going yeah. look at the train guys I'm so impressed with the this is cool I have <laughs> what size is that? That's G gauge. G gauge. Wow. Again, it's it's playing music it. and everything. Mm. Okay, let's get these errands done. That is really cool. Yeah. This green building here is the old slaughterhouse. And a bunch of young folks opened or bought it. And now it's the old Slaughterhouse music venue. They host uh, concerts and bands and stuff. So I'd like to go check a show there out, actually. Fluffy they are. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of snow. Real Babes thinks it's cool. I've dealt with snow. I don't think it's cool at all. It's like big, fluffy, puffy things that are just, you know, piling up around us and blowing around. It's pretty cool. It is starting to, we might even get a whiteout. video your casserole since I didn't video anything. What is it? It is a broccoli, cheese, and stuffing casserole. Looks pretty good. Yeah. How are you? You're happy. You're a big happy dog, aren't you? You're pretty jingly. Yeah. How's the jingle jangles coming? Yeah, you're not cold at all, are you? You like the jingle jangle bells, huh? Yes. Look at how good you are. Yes. Yes. Got a herd of mule deer in the yard. I'm out here to feed them Cheerios. Here goes one bolting. There's a four point. He's already shed one antler. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One behind the little spruce. That's ten. We'll jingle jangle some Cheerios, see if we can get them on up here. Well, the deer were really interested in the Cheerio box, but they haven't really moved from the neighbor's yard. A bunch of chickadees or titmice, I'm not sure. Small, grayish, a little bit of white, blackhead birds came in and they ate up all the Cheerios for the deer. So I am out here to re-Cheerio the yard. I think I'm gonna load up the bird feed or something too. Well, I don't think we're gonna be fishing Surface Creek anytime real soon. You can see most of the snow is melted off, but the creek is flowing heavier than it has been, and it's still iced up. 
But once the ice melts off and the flow increases, we might be able to do a little bit of a, well, fishing might be a little bit better. We're still gonna fish regardless. It is pretty. But it's a heck of a lot colder than Puerto Rico or South Carolina. And, uh, Here come the Cheerio eaters. Well, the exciting content continues. Now we're actually going to go to the store to grocery shop. That buck that still has one antler hanging on just creeped up. Oh, there he goes right there. I'm hoping he'll drop that last one here somewhere. Make a good dog chew toy. <whistles> Ain't nothing stopping him. That was it, y'all. The creeks are starting to ice up. We've got, I don't know, four or five days of above freezing weather. Um, looking at about 35 degrees. We've got most of the ice melted off the driveway and whatnot. But I'm not sure how much fishing we're going to be able to do since the creeks are, you'll be able to walk completely across them before too long. They are freezing up for winter. So we might hit the river. Don't know what we're going to do. Love y'all and we will chat soon.